Hi, I'm Denise from Refresh Her. And normally on Thursday when you stop in, I have a devotional thought that's printed out. But I thought we might do something a little bit different today. And that was just that I would invite you to come and sit down in my living room with me. And let's just have a little thought together, um, a devotional thought via this video. I hope it will encourage you and we'll just see how it goes. Who knows? This might end up on the funniest home videos. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, this morning I found myself doing one of the things that I enjoy doing and that was baking. I had some sourdough that I had rising overnight and the task of the morning was to get the bread into the pans and get them baked. And I ended up making some small loaves of bread. I made six tiny loaves to be able to share with some folks that I just want to be an encouragement to. And a little while ago when I was wrapping these loaves up into their packages, I noticed, I thought, you know, it's funny that they were all made out of the same dough. They have the same ingredients. I did the process the same for each loaf, but they're each one very unique. One loaf, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this loaf here ended up being rising up a lot bigger than this one here. It's not nearly as puffy. Um, the, the tops of them look different where there's a little bubble in the crust or one is a little darker than the other one, but they're all the same. They all were created with the same purpose and they will all Lord willing, fulfill the purpose in which they were made. But you know, it reminded me of what women deal with the most, probably. And that is comparing themselves to somebody else. Do you ever look at a woman from a distance, perhaps, and you just think, Oh, I wish I could be more like that. She's got the sweetest way of being able to deal with people. Or she just knows how to minister to people by her words. Or she just knows how to come alongside and talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm just so uncomfortable with that. We compare ourselves to somebody else. But, you know, that's not what the Lord wants us to do. We get so defeated when we do that, and that's really a lie of the enemy is that we have to be like somebody else. I was thinking about one of our favorite verses, and that is Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9, that say, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But then verse 10 goes on to say that we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. We understand that we are saved by grace. Nothing that we did has saved us. Titus reminds us of that as well. But after we're saved, we tend to look around and think that we should be just like Christian so-and-so, or we should respond the same way or have the same gifts and abilities as somebody else. But the Bible reminds us in verse 10 here that just as God saved us after salvation, He has also equipped us with everything we need. We are His workmanship, and He gives us everything we need to be able to accomplish what He wants for our individual lives. Instead of comparing ourselves to somebody else and being defeated, and usually we end up doing nothing, we need to say, Lord, what is the little desire that you put in my heart? What is it that I do that I love to do that could be used to be a blessing to other people, that could be used to even bring people to Christ, that could encourage the body? For me, baking is one of those things that I enjoy doing. I also love to be able to speak to women and encourage them with the things that the Lord is teaching me. And that might totally be out of your comfort zone and you say, no way could I do that. That's okay. We need to each one find how God wants us to be serving Him because we are His workmanship. He will give you everything that you need to be able to accomplish what He wants you to do. 
But then we need to get after it and just do it. Don't compare yourself to someone else. Be what God wants you to be. And you know, just as these loaves of bread, I pray, will accomplish that which I have made them for, to encourage the receiver and to fill up their tummies with something good. You and I, no matter what we look like, no matter the different gifts that God has given to us, we can accomplish that for which He has made us. That The reason that He saved us, to be able to glorify Him. So don't compare yourself to somebody else. Allow God to use you just like you are for His honor and His glory. You, my friend, are His workmanship. Be a blessing to other people and just let God use you the way you are. Thanks for stopping by today and I'll look forward to talking to you again. Bye-bye.